Hey there, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3 Volt. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the EIGP router ID lab. Um, okay, so what are we going to do in this lab? Uh, I got three routers over here. And I'm going to enable EIGP on all of those routers. And as you can see, router spy has a loopback interface. And I'm going to redistribute this loopback into EIGRP. And then I will show you um, what EIGRP does if it has a duplicate router ID. So let's start by configuring EIGRP on all fast Ethernet interfaces. Um, so let's take a look. Router spy. Router EIGRP, no auto summary. And we'll just have to type in a couple of network commands. And there we go. Let's do no auto summary. And router copycat. Oh, it seems that I forgot to configure uh, an IP address here. So let's do a no shut. 13.3, that should be it. And then router EIGRP, no auto summary. And we'll type in this network command. Okay, so it says up new adjacency, and I can see one, two adjacencies over here. So that seems to be okay. The next step is to redistribute the loopback interface on router spy into EIGRP. So let's go to router spy, do show IP interface brief. You can see this is the loopback. And this is the subnet mask that we have, slash 24. So What I'm going to do is just uh, use redistribute connected. There we go. And let's check out router imposter. Show IP route. We can see the loopback over here in the routing table as an external route. And if we look at router copycat, we can see it over here as well. Now the last step of this lab is to make sure that router copycat does not see this network in the routing table. And I'm not going to apply any filtering techniques. So no distribute lists, no route maps, no access lists and so on. And I'll show you what happens if I change the router ID of router copycat. Um, before I do so I need to check router spy over here. So let's do show IP protocols and I can see all the EIGRP stuff here but what I'm looking for is the EIGRP router ID so neighbors uh, I think this is the router ID Let's go to router imposter and do show IP EIGRP one neighbors and then detail. And we can see that we have two neighbors and 12.2. That's router spy. And I think that's the router ID as well, but I'm, I just want to be sure, so show IP EIGRP. And maybe we can do topology. There we go. So show IP EIGRP topology. There you can see your router ID. So 2222, that's the router ID of router spy. And that makes sense because that's the loopback interface. And just like OSPF, EIGRP will prefer the IP address of the loopback as the router ID. 
Um, okay, so let's go to router copycat now. Let's go to router EIGRP and then I'm going to change the router ID. And let's see where I can change it. EIGRP. Here we go, router ID. So now I have the same router ID as router spy. Let's do a clear IP EIGRP neighbor. And it's down. And it's up again. Show IP route. And now you can see that there's only one entry over here. So I learned about the 12 network which is the link between imposter and spy. But you can see that the uh, loopback of router spy is no longer here. So what happens here is that if EIGRP has, uh, sees a duplicate router ID, then it will not install the external prefixes in its routing table. Uh, it will still install the internal prefixes. So this is a it's kind of a funny um, solution you can see it's still not here so if you have a duplicate router ID it's not going to install external prefixes and I think this is a typical one of those little uh, CCIE uh, things that you might encounter that uh, maybe you will see two or three routers and one of the routers has a duplicate router ID and then it's up to you to find out why it's not installing that in external prefix. Anyway, this is, um, this is how it works. So duplicate router ID means no external prefixes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching and till next time.